Hey guys, it's Coda Crafter, and I'm back with another Project Like Process video, and I'll be using the October 2016 kit, which is my oldest kit. So, why have I had it for almost a year now? It's because I keep adding stuff to it, and it's actually my favorite Citrus Twist kit out of all the kits that I've received since May of last year. And the reason why is that there's a few uh, Maggie Holmes Gather collection stuff like the 6x6 paper pad, the word stickers, so I added to this kit more Maggie Holmes Gather stuff like the ephemera pack and the uh, Project Life Gather core kit cards. So for this title card, sorry that it does take me about three minutes in this video to get this title card done and that blurry part towards the top of the video um, that will go away after this card so sorry about that as well so for the month days and week what I love about this kit is that it's so easy when it comes to especially the months like July June May any months that have like a few letters in it I love using those uh, pink fresh studio uh, leatherette alphas when they are working pretty well because sometimes I hate when they like split because you know some chipboards do that and then these leatherette stickers did that the first time I used them but ever since after the first time they've been pretty good but anyway so and I love using that bar stamp to write in the week and days because sometimes like I just don't feel like um, adding more uh, stickers just to uh, display that part but anyways um the left part is what took me a while to do because i wanted to use one of the acetate pieces because out of the ephemera pack i haven't used one yet of those acetate pieces so i really like that floral piece and i just didn't like how it was blending into the coral card so i looked through my scraps from the six by six paper pad and i like that teal but i wish it was a little bit wider so I had to add a second scrap just to uh, make it a little bit wider. But the thing is, I didn't like that I picked this marble one because it also looked like the floral acetate piece and the marble blend in together when you when you put the acetate piece on top of it. But you know, it's like, oh well, go with the flow and just keep moving forward and move on to the next card so I do use my tiny attacher and I add one of those pink paisley moonstruck dang it took me a long time to finally because guys you have no idea how many times I've tried to done this do this excuse me voice over and <laughs> every time I did it I didn't remember I couldn't remember the um, collection from that pink paisley but yeah I had a bad pack where they cut the pieces in the wrong places so I improvised and I tried to get rid of those stickers as much as possible and I did add a puffy sticker from that same collection and that is pretty much it for that title card so for this 3x4 card is the only song of the week which is the Demi Lovato sorry not sorry song and I'm not a big fan of hers but I do like a few of her songs so this is the third song I like from her and um, there wasn't a lot of space to write a lot of lyrics so I just picked two sentences and that's it and added some hearts and enamel dots and pretty simple and like how it came out looks really cute so for the next few photos they're uh, in or I don't know if it was downtown I guess it was no 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 it's not downtown Orlando excuse me some part in Orlando because I don't really live in Orlando I live like 30 minutes from Orlando so um, I really don't remember if it's downtown or what but uh, this is the Orange County Convention Center and I had an interview that day around 9 o'clock in the morning so I was pretty early two hours before <laughs> so I was uh, sitting there two hours and decided to take pictures you know for memory keeping sake and I was so glad to finally use one of those geotag puffy stickers because I already knew how I was going to do that card so added a few word stickers on that journaling card and here's another photo of the outside of Orange County Convention Center and I just simply added some Dear Lizzie washi tape on the bottom and I will add a a word sticker from the Maggie Holmes Gather sticker sheet because they had or it had a uh, 
phrase that has something to do with opportunities so I thought that was perfect for what that day represented and then here is a photo of my dad's workplace because it's across the street from the Orange County Convention Center and it is the Hilton Hotel so I thought hey might as well take a picture of it because you may never know and um it was a, such a beautiful day and I was like in the picture mood there was I took so many pictures but of course I had to think about which picture you know the best picture to use in my project life because you can't put all of them so this was the best one out of all the like pictures I took of this one building and um I like how that floral car just looks around that um photo and added a few embellishments from the Moonstruck and Pinkfresh Studio Indigo Hills and that label I'll be writing a little bit about of how it's nice to just look at my dad's workplace and remember all those times like take your uh, child to work day and stuff but of course those times weren't at that same hotel they were at other hotels but um, my dad has been in the hotel industry for a long time so um, it's just it's just a family thing to uh, reminisce and uh, be nostalgic over so for this photo it's about my statuses that on that same day and my interviewee was actually a middle school classmate uh, but someone I don't really know that well I just remember seeing her around in middle school but um, I just added some of those uh, strips that you would get from the 6x6 paper pad because I felt like it was uh, it looked boring so I just wanted to add a little bit to that so for this oh just so you know this is a page and a half layout so this video will be a little bit longer than usual so this is a tribute 4x6 card to uh, Chester Bennington if you don't know who don't know who he is he is the lead singer of Lincoln Park and I grew up with that band from middle school to high school and I think I listened to them a little bit in college so they were a part of my childhood and I was really sad about what happened and um, you know it was very it was very heartbreaking because you know someone that's part of your childhood it's like you, you just can't believe it you know so I added uh, also underneath that picture my status of how I felt about it and uh, the embellishment. I really love that tag that I added because the I love you so just worked perfectly with what this card represented and added that Dear Lizzie sticker ticket and that other ephemera. Even though it's the date it's already written twice, so one on the status and but you know what it's like it's okay. So I do add a little bit of some enamel dots and I cut one of the hearts in half just to represent a broken heart. And um, I really like how this card came out. So I'm glad that out of all the cards, this is the card that just, yeah, I really love it. And after those enamel dots, that's pretty much it for this card. And here is a journaling card based off of a movie that I found on Netflix and I was really glad that there was a movie about this or um, about the uh, Spanish-American War and but it was from like the Spaniard perspective because Spain took over the Philippines for like 300 years and there was a lot of dialogue but it was an okay movie um, I would probably recommend it for just you know for history sake so for this last 4x6 photo, um, I ripped one of the ephemeras in half because I wanted to tone down that card. I didn't really like that red-orange color too much, so I thought this ephemera with very pastel-like colors would work great with it. And then I pasted that photo, which is, I think I did a haul video on that kit. Yeah, I think I did. And it is one of the Citrus Twist kits. And so I do add one of the Dear Lizzie um, washi tapes on the bottom. And, oh, excuse me. I thought I was going to um, burp. So I added um, word stickers and, I, and a puffy sticker that says happy on it. And yeah, I kept this card pretty simple. It's not, it's probably, out of all the cards, probably my least favorite. I just, I, I don't know why I picked that pattern paper, but it's, 
<laughs> I, I I don't really like um pattern papers that have like those I think they try to make it look like they're bows. I don't I, I don't I don't really like that pattern with like the two triangles together and the, it looks like bows and I don't I don't know why I don't like it but I just ugh, I just don't. So that's pretty much it for this uh, process video and I hope you guys liked it and I enjoyed it because it's of course my favorite citrus twist kit and I don't think it's, I'm going to get rid of it anytime soon. I'm, I'm definitely not going to keep adding to it if I have em um, embellishments that will go with the kit. So that is it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.